Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I want to tell you about the features of the Nest Smart Thermostat and my experiences with it. So right next to me here, we have a Nest Thermostat. Uh, Nest actually makes two different ones. This is the E. It's the slightly less expensive version. The two versions are almost identical. The E, uh, it has a frosted screen instead of a clear screen, and it is white, whereas the fancier one, you can get uh, a couple different colors and trims on them. Uh, white just blends right into the wall, and it's very similar to what most of us would have previously had for a thermostat anyways. Uh, in fact, the paint around my old thermostat was a little scuffed up, so I used this nice rectangular plate that came with this uh, to cover up the bad spots on the paint. Uh, I'm not going to specifically cover the installation on th this thermostat, but it was really easy. Uh, basically, just took the old thermostat off, uh, pulled the wires through this part, screwed it to the wall. There's even a little level built in and put the wires in uh, to the same spots that they were on the old thermostat and then just snapped the new thermostat in here in place. Right away for the interface on the Nest, I really like it. It's very, very simple. Basically, the entire outside here rotates and that's what you use for uh, setting the temperature. It has a little bit of feedback in that it has a click as you turn it. Of course, you can turn that off. Uh, and then to do any kind of an entry on here, you either push the entire ring or just press right in the middle. So to start with, I first just want to take you through the basic features of this thermostat. So if we just press the button, we get into the various modes, including heat, cool, heat and cool, off, and eco. Down here we have the fan mode, settings, and then this is just kind of our return, but it does also state the uh, time, date, and weather. Uh, the thermostat gathers the weather information off of the internet. So eco is kind of a neat feature. Basically what it does is instead of micromanaging the temperature of your home, it allows your temperature to swing a bit between two temperature points which you set. Uh, still, if it's below a certain temperature, it will heat, and if it's above a certain temperature, it will cool. But uh, depending on where you live and what time of year it is, there's times where it's definitely useful uh, to simply allow your temperature to swing a bit instead of turning on the heat or turning on the air conditioning. Down here is just the fan run mode. This is another one that I found to be really, really handy. Uh, my old thermostat, this guy right here, it did have a switch so I could always uh, turn the fan on manually. But what I like about this one is if I go into the fan mode, right away it gives me a nice little timer feature. So I can say run the fan for uh, half an hour, run it for two hours, whatever I want it to be. And this is especially nice because I have a small wood stove in my living room, which I love in the winter. It's a great way to, to heat the place, make it feel nice and warm. But that heat doesn't get through the entire house. So by using the fan, that just circulates the air in the home and it gets the heat from the living room out to the rest of the house. So I do like the fan mode that's built in here. So let's go into settings and take a look at uh, some of the features on here. Settings mode. The very first one is scheduling. Scheduling is actually very, very powerful with this thermostat. It's not just that the old thermostats were always kind of a, a pain to set, uh, but what's really powerful about this is it learns your schedule. Uh, one of the ways that it does that is there's actually a motion sensor built in. Uh, this is right in my hallway, it's in the middle of my house. So every time I walk past here, it senses the motion and it knows that I'm home. Uh, not only that, but it, it knows I'm actively doing something as opposed to being upstairs sleeping. So just based on when you walk past it, uh, with the motion sensor and the electronics in here, it starts to learn your schedule. So if I go into schedule, I have not done any programming on the scheduling at all, but it shows us the day of the week. And if we go back starting at Monday, we can see the different temperature points. And all this information is set up automatically including that uh, at night, for example, uh, the temperature has been automatically set to 64 degrees while I'm sleeping. Now, if I was just programming uh, my old thermostat like this, I might not have even thought about setting the temperature to that low. In fact, if I look on here, um, formally I had this set to 66 degrees while I was asleep at night. So it's kind of neat. I'm already saving a little bit of energy because it's going to a little bit lower temperature. But all this information on the scheduling uh, that's automatic. That was all in there just based on me 
walking past the thermostat. Uh, of course, you can also connect your cell phone with this, and whether you're home or away, based on cell phone information, also goes right into here. Now, anytime we can go in, we can click any of these numbers, adjust them up or down manually, but it's really that automated scheduling that I think is a really cool feature in the Nest thermostat. Another cool feature with the Nest is that it really easily integrates into whatever home automation system you have. Uh, a little while back, I got an Amazon Echo and started playing with that. So, Alexa, turn down the heat. The heat's set to 70. Alexa, turn up the heat. The heat's set to 72. Alexa, turn on air conditioning. It's set to cool. Alexa, set the temperature to 68 degrees. The AC is set to 68. Alexa, turn on heat. It's set to heat. Alexa, thank you. You're welcome. So that's just kind of a cool feature right there. You know, if you're a little chilly in the living room, you can just uh, holler at your talking computer and have it change the temperature for you. Another cool thing about the Nest thermostat is the app that it comes with. So on your smartphone, you can basically do anything you want to that you could do at thermostat, you can also do through the app. So if I just pull up the temperature, um, I have that on the app here. Now keep in mind, we're doing this live through the internet. I can turn up the temperature here and just give it a second or two and you'll see it start to go up on our display here as well. So I could literally be doing that from anywhere in the world. Now that's not necessarily a handy thing sitting on my living room sofa, but imagine if you have a vacation home, a rental property, something where you'd want to be able to uh, check on things remotely. Um, another possibility is let's say you're just out traveling, you're on your way back home, you know you're going to be back home in an hour, you could actually turn on your heat or air conditioning so when you do get back home uh, your house is appropriately warm or cool. Now keep in mind that the Nest thermostat isn't the only one out there. Uh, Ecobee is probably the other most popular brand, but there's a number of other smaller brands as well. So go ahead, take a look at reviews, that sort of thing, before you buy your smart thermostat. I think probably the only thing I don't like about this thermostat, frankly, is the price. Uh, this is the less expensive version, and still it's around $150. Uh, the other version is up to $250 retail. Uh, for me, that's a lot of money. Um, now, fortunately, I personally was actually able to get this thermostat free through uh, an energy program through my utility. So that's one thing you definitely want to take a look at is to see if there's any discounts available. A lot of times utilities have some sort of a program where they offer discounts on things like LED light bulbs or maybe a rebate on getting a new energy efficient refrigerator. If you take a look at the Nest website and at your utility company's website, you might be able to find some discounts that can save you some money on one of these devices. So that's about it for the Nest thermostat. Overall, I found it uh, was very easy to wire up, um, to set up in the first place. I haven't had any issues with any kind of web integration. You know, sometimes I'm a little afraid of gadgety type devices, but uh, so far this one's really worked out well. I like to be green while saving green, and this has helped me do that. I hope you liked this video. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Check out the blog article that we have to go with us at 300mpg.org. We're also now on Patreon, and we'd love to have your support there as well. Until next time, stay charged up.